Hello guys and welcome back to my new mini tutorial series about creating the building system of Fortnite. In this episode we will create our project, set up our folder structure and import all the assets that you will need to follow along with the series. To get started let's navigate to our library and for this tutorial series we will use the latest engine version which is 4.19.1. So let's launch that. After you've launched your engine hit new project. And now you will be asked to select a template for your game. For those of you who don't know, Fortnite is a third person action shooter game with a very popular battle royale modus that features the building system that we were going to recreate. So that means that as a template we can use the third person template. The whole project will be built using blueprints so you won't be asked to write a single line of C++ code in this series. The game will be made for desktop slash console with maximum quality and we want to include the starter content because as you can see in Fortnite for the building system you need various meshes for the different structures that you can build and different materials that will be applied to those based on whether you build the structure using wood or stone or metal. And to have access to meshes and materials we will need to check the starter content here. Then you can choose a directory for your project and give it a name. I'll just call mine Fortnite underscore building and let's hit create project. Now give it some time to load up. Once you've created your project we can start to set up our folder structure. Let's move to the content folder here. Right click and create a new folder. Let's call that building system and this folder will contain all of our subfolders that we will use in the course of this series. So just to make that stand out a little bit more we will right click it then go to set color and let's just give it a blue then hit ok. Let's go inside of this folder now and let's create our subfolders. So right click new folder and the first one will store all of our textures. Then we will need one for the meshes or models. Another one for the materials that we will apply to our meshes. Then we will be using custom fonts so let's create another folder for that called fonts and let's right click add another folder called blueprints. We will create more folders in the course of the series but for this episode those will be enough. Now we need to populate our folders with all of the assets that we'll need. If you have a look at the video description you will find a download link to Mediafire. For this series I put together an asset pack called Fortnite underscore assets that you can download here and it contains all of the textures, fonts and materials that we will need in the series. So hit download and once you've downloaded and extracted the .raw folder you will see this folder here Fortnite assets with the fonts subfolder, materials subfolder, textures subfolder and a readme document. Let's just have a quick look at this. So in the fonts folder you will see Burbank Bold. After a bit of research I think that this is the font that is used in Fortnite for the logo and for some text in the UI. So we'll just use this one. Then we've got the materials which basically only contains this M underscore ice material. I recreated this material using a very well put together tutorial of Dean Ashford on YouTube. Link to that will also be in the description if you want to have a look at this. And then there is the last folder which are the textures which also has a subfolders. We have a look at the resources you will see this very high quality icons that were created specifically for this tutorial series and so that you can build along with me by the amazingly talented Turbinea from our discord server. The link to his portfolio on ArtStation and to his YouTube channel will also be found in the video description. So if you want to do me a favor, please check out this guy and give him some love. Then there are also the building icons that were created by Turbinea 2, the states icons also by Turbinea, and then we've got the crosshairs and all of this UI textures that I created. So you can use any of these textures in commercial and public projects if you want to. But now let's move on and import all of this. So let's start with our font, that's pretty simple. Basically you just open up the project and the folder. Let's move to our fonts folder and drag and drop the Burbank Bold font type into our project. Then it will ask you whether you want to create a new font using the imported font face as its default font. You just hit yes here and then you've got Burbank Bold and Burbank Bold font, this one. If you have a look at this you will see a very small default text here that you can check looks alright so let's save it and close it. 
Also save this one, select it and hit Control S. So that's it for our font. Let's go to our textures folder and create some subfolders in here. So resources, which will be things like metal, stone and wood that you can use to build structures. Then we've got the buildings or structures, whatever you want to call them. And the last folder will be for the states. Go back to our Fortnite assets folder, textures, select all of the images that are not in a subfolder. And let's just move them in here. Now it imported all of these. Let's just open up one of these to check really quickly. And because we will use these only on the user interface, you will need to go to the compression settings and set this one to user interface, then scroll down a bit. And texture group should also be UI. After that, you can hit save. And normally you would have to do this for all of these, but I'll just show you a quick tip so you can speed up the process. You just hit shift and left click to select all of these, right click, asset actions and bulk edit via property matrix. And then you can change the settings for all of these at the same time, level of detail, texture group, UI, and under compression, compression settings, user interface. After that, hit Control S to save all of these. All right, now let's open up our state subfolder here. Open up the state subfolder in the asset pack, select both of these and move them in. Again, we will set everything to UI. I'll just skip the process now. Let's go to the resources and import this beautiful textures here. Go to our buildings folder and we will need those four icons as well. So move them in and remember to set the settings. And finally, we'll go to our textures folder and create another subfolder for the crosshairs. Then open this one up and move those two crosshairs in. Again, remember to set the UI settings. Okay, now that we've imported the textures, I just want to show you something very quickly. Let's open up the icon health here. And if we zoom in, you will notice that it looks very blurry. If you want to change that, you can just go to the texture here and expand it. And then you will see a filter. Currently that is set to default. If you open that up and set it to nearest, that will look a lot sharper. So let's save this. You don't have to do this for every texture. It really depends on how sharp you want it to look. Sometimes it will make textures look worse, especially if they're scaled up or down on your UI. But for the icon left mouse button, icon right mouse button, and for the icon shield, we will do this. So again, select all those three textures and we will bulk edit, texture, filter nearest, save them. And we will do it for all of the resources. So we'll select them and again, bulk edit, texture, filter, nearest, save. All right, importing our materials will be a bit different. So let's close our project here. If we have a look at our Fortnite assets folder and open up the materials subfolder, you will see that those three elements are U asset types. And that means you cannot directly import them into the engine, but you can put them in your project folder. And once you've opened up the engine again, they will be in there. So what you will do is you select those three, right click and hit copy. Then you go to your launcher and right click your project. So Fortnite building, show in folder, and then navigate to content, building system, materials, and just hit control V to paste them. Before we open up our project again, there is another thing I want to add, and that is a custom character. Because currently we're just using the template character, he does not have a lot of animations that we can use and also doesn't look too interesting. So what you can do here is go to your marketplace, and here you've got access to all kinds of assets. Most of them are not free, but Epic Games just released the characters of their game Paragon for free, so you can use those. So we would just search for content here and enter Paragon, then hit enter. And you will see a bunch of assets that are labeled as free. Here are some characters. The one I will use is called Shinbi, this one here. 
There it also reads owned. For you probably it will read free, so click on this. And there should be another button here that's called free, so you just hit that one. And once you've navigated back to your library, you will have Shinbi in your vault. Which means that you are able to hit add to project and just select the project you want to add her to, which is Fortnite building here. Add to project. And especially if you're doing this for the first time, this will take a lot of time. So feel free to just pause the video until you're done. Okay, now that we've added Shinbi to our project, let's open up our project again. And the first thing we'll see in here is that there's another folder here called Paragon Shinbi. Let's not worry too much about this folder right now. We will later deal with setting up the custom character. And then if we navigate to our materials folder, you will see the M underscore ice, rock underscore N underscore T and the snow underscore N underscore T. If you open up the M underscore ice, which was the material I created using the tutorial on YouTube, it will look kind of strange. And that is because the textures samples here are referencing invalid textures. So what we will just do is just move this window here aside, select both of our textures and move them in. Then we remove the old texture samples here, the invalid ones. Move those two here. Connect the multiply node to both UVs. And here the first white pin will go into the add A and the white pin of the second texture will go into B. Then hit apply and you will see the preview of our lovely ice material here. It's pretty good. So we can close it. We have a look, our meshes folder is still empty, so let's change that. I already mentioned that we will use starter content for this, so let's go into our starter content. Architecture, and then there will be a floor, 400 by 400 Unreal units. It's really important that we use meshes of the same size here, because later you will see that the building system is using a grid, so all buildings have to be able to be put in one of these grid cells. So floor 400 by 400, hit control, select the wall 400 by 400 and the wall door 400 by 400. And then we will move all of these into our meshes folder and select copy here. Back in our meshes folder, we can rename these. So it's just call the floor floor, the wall wall and the wall door will be called door. Another thing that we want to grab from our starter content are the materials for the wood, stone and metal resources that will then be applied to these meshes here. So let's go into the materials folder of our starter content and let's just pick some. I'll be using the M underscore tech panel for metal. Then I will use the M underscore concrete panels for wood. So hit control to select this and the M underscore brick underscore clay underscore old for stone. So we also select this one and grab all of them, move them into our materials folder, hit copy here. We can collapse our starter content after this. There's nothing else we need from here. And back in our materials folder, let's rename these. So M underscore tech will be M underscore metal. M underscore concrete panels will be M underscore wood. And the brick clay old will be M underscore stone. So now we've got all of our four materials that we will need. And that's everything for the assets that we had to import for the whole series. There are some changes that I want to make to our character. So let's grab our third person character here. Edit blueprint and open up the blueprint editor here. The first change that I will do will affect the camera position because currently it's just see what the camera looks like. We will play a new editor window. Yeah, see that doesn't look very much like the camera in Fortnite. So what I will just do is go to the viewport and select the camera boom. Basically I want to be able to see a bit over the shoulder of our character. So I'll just give it a socket offset in Z of 150, which will move that up. But that also means that I have to rotate our camera down so we can see everything. So select the follow camera and we will rotate that by minus 10 in Y. Pass save, that's it, play. See, that looks a lot more like in Fortnite. Also something you can do in Fortnite is to jump and while you're in the air you can build a structure underneath you. Currently that would not be possible because our character really doesn't jump very high. Just check that. 
And to change that, you will just go to your character movement component. And here you've got the jump Z velocity. Let's set that to 900 instead. And if we hit play now, the jump is a lot higher. And later you will see that we are able to build a structure while we are jumping that will prevent us from falling down. Another thing is that generally Fortnite is a very fast paced game. Character right now is not too quick. So if you want to change that, you just search for maximum walk speed. Currently that's set to 600. You can set that to whatever you want. I'll just make a quick change to 650 just because I prefer that. Then there is one final change that I want to make, which is extremely important for this series. And that is, if you scroll down, the walkable floor angle. Currently that is set to 44.7 degrees. And let me very quickly show you what that means. So let's close our character. If we move in our wall mesh here and let's go to our rotation settings and snap that to 45, then hit E to go into rotation mode and rotate that on the red axis here by 45 degree. And if we then hit play, you will see that our character is not able to walk this stair or wall, whatever you want to call this. In Fortnite though, you are able to build stairs that are approximately at a 45 degree angle and the player is able to walk on these to move over mountains and such stuff. If we then go back into our character and go to character movement and set the walkable floor angle to 50 instead of 44 and then hit play, you will see that now our character is able to walk these stairs here. Okay, so that's that's important for the series. Let's close it, close our character, remove that mesh here, we don't need it. It's safe and that's everything that we had to do for this episode. In the next one, I will show you to set up a stat system so that our player will have the health and shield values that you can see in Fortnite and we'll also start working on our UI to display those. See you in the next episode.